I don't know about you, but there was a split second when I was trying to remember, am I the welcome guy or the Pledge of Allegiance guy? <laughs> I was not the Pledge of Allegiance guy, uh, but great job. Good afternoon, everyone. I want to welcome you to this nice space and thank you, Johnson, for opening up to us. I was the previous occupant of this courtroom, and I do not recognize it. I can tell you it had a pretty funky 70s vibe when I was here, and you really couldn't come in without bell bottoms and polyester. And she has turned it around amazingly. It's the perfect space for what we're doing today uh, in this celebration of recognition. recognition. I want to thank all of you for taking time from your busy day. Uh, Mr. Johnson graciously referred to me as a busy judge. We're all busy and we're all taking a few minutes out of our lives to recognize someone very special to us. So thank you for making the time to be here and to listen to what those of us who are recognizing Shay have to say and maybe to get an early start on a long weekend. So when the news finally trickled out that Shay Alexander would be the next clerk of court in Fulton County, I immediately began bugging the organizers of this event saying, how can I be involved? I want to talk. I want to talk. We're good. We're good, McBurney. We got this. No, no, no. Let me do something. All right. All right. I'll give you a roll. Said, Excellent. I'm in. Um, then this came out and I looked down there and I'm like, okay, Gordon from March, Adam from March, Judge Ingram, Andrew Judge Elkhorn. So I just need to say, thanks you all for coming. I said, pretty much, <laughs> that's all you need to do. I hope, okay. Uh, but then I noticed that we all get in theory five minutes. So I'm taking my five to welcome you all and say a couple other things. I wanna issue a special welcome to Pastor Thomas, um, someone who is very welcome here. Um, uh, I do need to let you know that we've begun receiving phone calls from St. Peter's because you are here more often than you're at your church. <laughs> we had you here last week to celebrate uh, Court Robinson, and now you're here. You may need the office here rather than Tina needing the office in your church. I also want to welcome and acknowledge our departing clerk. We celebrated you last week. Um, you have given much to this county through your many decades of service. Your enduring gift to this county to Shay Alexander, and thank you for making that possibility for us. I've heard loud and clear from your daughters that we are not to bother you after midnight tonight, but I beg some dispensation if I or maybe a colleague of mine need to reach out to you to learn how one actually manages Shay, because you've learned that. <laughs> The rest of us have not mastered that dark art. Of course, the deepest, most fundamental collective welcome that comes from all of us is this new era that starts in about 30 minutes, if all you remarkers keep your five minutes each. Um, and that's welcoming the era of Shea Alexander as our clerk of court. I'm not allowed to say too much because if I get up in Judge Ingram's Kool-Aid, she'll fuss at me later. So I can't talk too much about Shay, but I will say this to everyone um, and you know her, that's why you're here. We are getting the complete package. We are getting someone who knows and cares about this county, the people who live in it and the governance of this county. We are getting someone who has more recently in her talents and her passion for learning around the country to see how other people do things in other large jurisdictions, to learn those best practices, and luckily for us, bring them back home. We're getting someone who has seen and absorbed and shared these best practices coming home to us. And for that, we are blessed. And you know she cares because she's left behind that lucrative business to once again become a servant leader, her true calling. Now, Shay's campaign slogan is leading with purpose and inspiring with passion. That is a perfect fit for her. It describes her to a T. This she can do like no others. I've come up with a different slogan for her and I debated whether I should share it in case I ever want to run for clerk. But it fits Shay much better than it would ever fit me. Shea, it captures your willingness to embrace new ideas, to deploy new technologies, and importantly, to work with new partners as you make this county, your office, a better place. 
And you want to make it better for everyone from the confused pro se litigant who's simply trying to find where to file a piece of paper to the, it does happen every once in a while, cranky judge demanding you do something immediately. And you are figuring out the way to make that work best of all. Shay, you are tomorrow's clerk today. And I welcome you as a friend and a partner and wish you the very best.